The purpose of this video is to review solving equations for a given variable. Um, let's take a look at this first example. It tells us to solve for x. All right. So the first step is always looking to see what it is we're solving for. In this case, we want to get our x all by itself. We want to isolate it on one side of the equation. So I'm going to first try to just get that x alone. So in this case, I need to add a y to both sides. So I have 3 fourths x on the left, and then 8 plus y on the right-hand side. All right, now the next step we can do here is we want to look and see what can we multiply our equation by to get rid of this fraction in front of x. Okay, now we could divide both sides by 3 fourths, which is the same as multiplying by 4 thirds. Um, but that might get kind of messy when we get over to this side, so um, what I like to do is tie in what we did with the fraction buster method. And I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 4. And what that does is this becomes 3x, right, because the 4 and the 4 cancel out. Um, and then I do 4 times 8, which is 32, plus 4 times y, which is 4y. All right, now I'm working with... Um, a whole number coefficient of x. And you guys know to get rid of that, we need to just divide by 3. And so I'll have x equals 32 plus 4y over 3. Um, now, there's a couple ways you could display your answer here. You can leave it like this, since um, I'm looking and I see that 32 is not divisible by 3 a whole number of times. Um, and I see that 4y is not divisible by 3. So what I would actually do is I would just leave this as it is. Some people might like to rewrite it so that they kind of break up the terms, and they would say x equals 32 thirds plus 4 thirds y. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Um, and still other people might want to turn this mixed number, or this uh, improper fraction, into a mixed number and say, well, 3 goes into 32 10 times, with 2 thirds left over, plus 4 thirds y. So um, any one of these three equations would work for our final answer. All right, let's take a look at another one. Uh, this example tells me I want to solve for k. So what I'm looking to do first is isolate all my k's on one side of the equation. Um, so in order to do that, I see I have a 3k here and a plus k. So what would make sense is to remove a k from both sides so that um, all my k's are over on the left. So I have 3k minus k becomes 2k plus y equals 10 minus 3y. And now let's get rid of this plus y by subtracting a y from both sides. And I have 2k equals 10. And then I have a minus 3y and a minus y. So that's like a negative 3 and a negative 1. So that's negative 4y. And then our final step is to get k by itself. Let's divide both sides of the equation by 2. And we are left with k on the left all by itself. And now over here I'm kind of looking to see I need to do 10 divided by 2, and then I'm going to subtract 4y divided by 2. So that 2 goes into both of those. So I'm going to do 10 divided by 2 is 5, minus 4y divided by 2 is 2y. So k is equal to 5 minus 2y. Now in this case, since they uh, the 2 went into the 10 a whole number of times, and 2 went into 4, uh, it ended up being nice numbers to work with, so in this one I divided it out, whereas in the last one I just kept them as fractions because they weren't so nice to work with. Let's take a look at a third example. Okay, for this one we want to solve for x. So I'm going to get x all by itself on one side. I'm going to keep this here, and all I need to do then is subtract 7y from both sides of the equation, and you'll see I have 4x on the left, and then 12 minus 7y, or you could say negative 7y plus 12, on the right. And to get x alone, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 4. And I'll see that x is equal to... Now here's where, again, people might write their answers a little differently. Here I see I have 12 divided by 4 minus 7y divided by 4. I like to divide out what I can. So I see that 12 is divisible by 4. Um, so I'm going to do 12 divided by 4 is 3, 
minus, now I have to do 7y divided by 4. Uh, now that's not so nice. I'm going to just leave that one as a mix or as an improper fraction here. I'll do 7 fourths y, or you could do 7y over 4. They're the same thing, you guys. Um, and still another person might even choose to do x equals 3 minus and then turn this 7 fourths y into a mixed number and turn this into 1 and 3 fourths y. All three of those um, would work perfectly fine. Um, this is the one that I would prefer. All right, this will be our last example today. Let's solve for w. All right, now before we can really do anything, we want to make sure we get w by itself. So I see a 4w over here, and I see a 7w over here. I could subtract 7w from both sides, or I could subtract 4w from both sides. If my goal is to get w positive and by itself on one side of the equation, then what would make the most sense here first would be to take 4w away from both sides because we're eliminating it from the left, and then on the right I'll be left with the positive 3w. Okay, so I've got 3m minus 7 equals 2m. Now I've got plus 3w plus 2. All right, so now I need to get rid of this 2m and the 2 on the right-hand side. Um, and you can actually do those both in one step if you'd like to. I like to kind of do that. I subtract 2m from both sides and I'll also subtract 2 from both sides right away. And that cancels out and that cancels out. And so on the right we have 3w and then on the left we have 3m minus 2m which is m and then we have a negative 7 minus 2 which is a negative 9. Alright and then our final step here divide both sides by 3 so w is all by itself. Um, and now I have m minus 9 divided by 3 um, and what I would do to simplify this one is I see the coefficient of m is actually 1 even though we wouldn't normally write that and I would do 1m divided by 3 so I could write that as 1 third m minus 9 divided by 3 which is 3 okay um, now just again this is where sometimes people get a little confused you could also have just kept it as w equals m minus 9 over 3. Um, and yet another person could do m divided by 3 minus 3 equals w. Okay, they all mean the same thing. Okay, one third m is the same as m divided by 3. And once you can kind of make that connection, the process here does get a little bit easier. All right, if you want more examples or you want some additional practice, please come and talk with me, and I'd be happy to work with you on it. Have a great night.